the ability to measure power is a useful feature, especially when combined with a variac. Although power meters can be had for cheap on Amazon, they almost all suffer from the same issue. They can't go below 60 volts. Although in practice this is actually closer to 35 volts, it's still an annoying issue, especially when working with lower voltages since you also lose the ability to measure current. Luckily this problem can be fixed with a simple mod. The reason they shut off at a certain voltage is simply because they are powered off the same wires that I use for voltage measurement. To solve this issue, we simply need to separate the supply from the sense wires. Opening the module itself is fairly simple, with only 4 plastic clips holding the rear cover, and a further 4 screws holding in the main PCB. Once inside, we can easily spot the large AC capacitor used for the power supply. Following the traces, we can see that it connects to the lower terminal. This means that this terminal will be our sense pin, and the other will be the common. Desoldering the capacitor is fairly easy with the pad being on the rear of the PCB due to the LCD on this side. Once free, we can simply attach a new wire to the leg and install some heat shrink tubing to prevent any unwanted shorts. Once the mod is done, the PCB can be screwed back into its enclosure. I'll use my smaller Variac to quickly test that everything works as it should. I'll only be connecting the newly added power wire and comm terminal to the Variac output. As you can see, the meter turns on but the displayed voltage is close to zero. This means that the power has been successfully separated from the sense pin. Now that we know that it powers on, we can fully test it by connecting the power pin to the Variac input and the sense pin to the output. The meter now immediately powers on with the Variac and you can see that it now displays 0 volts, all the way up to the full range of the Variac. To finish off the project, all we need to do is drill a hole for the power wire to exit and close everything up. All that's left to do now is to mount and wire everything up and we now have a fully variable power meter. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I'll see you in the next one.